Hey guys, what's up? Dan Bernard here with another vlog. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to stay on task. I'm sure many of you have noticed in the background here, we have a gigantic whiteboard. So I'm gonna show you how we organize our whiteboard because we have a lot going on and we need to be organized and structured in a way to make sure that we get everything done in a timely manner. So hopefully you can use some of these techniques to help you get your stuff done in a timely manner as well. So it's no secret that Casey and I are really busy. We are two of the four employees that work for Release the Hounds and we currently manage and upkeep three online e-commerce businesses. One is Ground Control, the other is Wave Brigade, and the other is Fangs Film Gear. And you can find links down in the description below about all those things. But on top of that, we do video production work for a organization, a non-for-profit organization called Heart Support. Again, more information down below. We also do a lot of work for our churches that we're involved in, and we also have families. So obviously we have to be on task and we have to give ourselves breaks so that we can be sane. And we need to make sure that we're having fun doing the things we're doing. So we need to schedule time off so that we can enjoy our family, enjoy what we're doing. And honestly, if you're not enjoying what you're doing anyway, you need to really question, is it worth doing in the first place? So all that to say is we utilize our whiteboard a lot to stay organized, to stay structured, and I'm gonna show you how we do it. So as you can see, we've sectioned off our whiteboard just using some painter's tape um, going from the, the top down to the bottom here. And we pretty much have our whiteboard organized into three phases, okay? We have phase one, which is ideas, right? Any and all ideas that we have throughout the day, if they pop into our head, we can quickly come over, grab a pen and write down on phase one. That way we don't forget about it because it might be a really good idea that's fleshed out into something to develop in the future. The next section here is phase two, which is the more focused ideas. And we have these focused ideas broken up by the brands or the different projects and the things that we do. Here's ground control, wave brigade, fangs, heart support, uh, our Twitch stream, the Savage Patch Kids, my YouTube channel, and the just RTH, Release the Hounds, uh, business type things that need to get done. So the ideas that come from phase one over to phase two are ones that we've had discussions about, and it filters down from this pool of just all these different ideas, and then we decide, okay, is that one idea worth bringing over to phase two? What category does it fit into? And from there, it goes to phase three, which is things we work on today. Operation Temporal Jackhammer. So on the side here, we write down uh, the hour of the day. So we get to work at eight o'clock, we leave at five, and we've just broken up the day into chunks and we've designated what we're going to do during that block of time each and every day. So our day usually starts with heart support work because we have to make promos for our Twitch stream. We have to make sure we're being up to speed on editing the band interviews that we go out and get. And that chunk of time lasts from eight to 10. Then from 10 to noon, we work on our shareables which is pretty much our online content for all of these things in section two or in phase two. But we work on specific things on specific days. So Monday and Friday, we work on our individual YouTube content. Tuesday and Thursday, we dedicate to Fangs Film Gear, so on and so forth. We usually take a half hour lunch starting at noon. And then after lunch, we do email, and then our one o'clock to three o'clock section is development and work on products. And that fluctuates because we have so many things that we're constantly in development of. For example, this week we are working on developing a new site for Wave Brigade. And then from three o'clock to five o'clock, we've split up that block of time, one hour a piece dedicated to the live streams that we do on Twitch. The other section of our whiteboard is dedicated just to a giant calendar so we can quickly at a glance take a look at what we have coming up in the month, including trips, special events, days off, things like that. So the whole point is to write everything down and to make sure that you're taking the time to filter through that process. Is it worth developing? Is it not worth developing? In all honesty, no idea is bad, but it might not be the right time to work on that idea. So you don't wanna just throw it away, but write it down so it's in a place where you can go back and look at it later and then reconsider whether or not it's the right time to work on that idea or not. 
From there, it's up to you on whether or not that idea goes from a phase one to the phase two to where you're actually going to work on it. You're actually going to implement uh, timing and schedule on the development of that idea to make it into phase three, which means you're gonna work on it and it's gonna be finished. Once it makes it to day three, that's when you work on scheduling it into your daily routine, into the time available during your work day. Really what it comes down to is schedule everything. Schedule every hour of your day, every moment, even if you don't finish the project that's scheduled during that hour, you've at least worked on it more than not working on it at all. And what it comes down to is you're actually making progress on that idea, on that project, and you're working toward its completion. So if you find yourself being frustrated about not being organized, not being structured, not planning your day, hopefully you can find some of these tips to be of use to you, to help you get your projects done faster and to hopefully help you schedule and organize your workday into something that helps you stay productive, stay fresh, and stay creative. Thanks for watching guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a like. If you have any questions or comments about anything I've covered here, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you wanna stay up to speed on any production or post-production, vlogs, whatever type videos that are coming down the pipe here on this channel, hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.